Hello everyone. It's James again. And before we talk about the topic today, I want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith. Otherwise known as Bigood 4000. And was uniquely created with normal software by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that we have that out of the way. I want to address a very important topic. And that's not only healing from narcissistic abuse. But when life throws you a curveball as well. You see. Dealing with a narcissist can be and is oftentimes extremely. And I do mean extremely stressful. And this is something they do on purpose. To get you to react a certain way. Usually it's done to get you to react negatively. So you will fall into whatever trap they have laid in front of you. No matter if be you looking bad in a social situation. Or you losing your job. Or you even getting arrested. And narcissists love to do this with people they deem to be mild tempered and kind. They want to work on them so well. That this person they are doing all of this to. Begins to change and morph into a completely different person. And they want them to lose themselves in this negative behavior. And they want them to take on all that comes with that negative behavior. The same can be said when life throws you a curveball. It could be a situation where it's a system that doesn't really care one way or another. And it's not really looking for a reaction. But. But a negative reaction can happen just the same. Usually producing bad results. Now I say all of this. Because I see some people in the comments every now and then. Where they are still frustrated. Mad. And wanting to run around exposing their narcissist. And I get it. I completely get it. There was a time before I started this channel. When I felt the same way about my mother and Susie. And my golden child brother as well. But though I had these feelings. And when I started this channel. I started my journey of healing. And trust me. It hasn't been a perfect journey. Lots of ups and downs. I will say this. The moment I started this channel. I deep in my gut knew. Trying to expose Susie or my mother or my golden child brother. Would bring nothing more but unwanted drama. And it would stunt my healing. Because I would be tangled up in their mess. Instead of dealing with what is going on with me and my life. Now. Do I talk about what Susie and my mother and brother have done on this channel? You betcha. Do I have reenactments of things they've done? I sure do. But it's done in a way. Where they aren't affected nor am I feeding them narcissistic supply. And these examples are shown for educational purposes. So someone can see these things. And say to themselves. Wait a minute. This happened to me too. And down the rabbit hole of truth they go. And they start to learn about narcissistic abuse. But I will say this. Most people that spend their time thinking about how they can get the narcissist back. They end up burning up their own life fuel or supply still on the narcissist. Instead of using it to build a good life. Because when you engage in this type of behavior. Believe it or not. The narcissist is happy. They love a good battle. Even if they lose and they drag you down with them. They are truly evil and love to get dirty. And they are better at it than you are. Now. This comes where we need to talk about controlling your emotions. You see. When I was with Susie. Towards the end. It was real dicey. The police were getting called a lot. And I believe she was acting up. To get a desired result from me. So she could have me arrested. And that's when I started to slow things down in my mind. And I realized what was happening. And I realized in order to get out of this. I must be ready. And I must keep myself composed. And as many of you may know. She's the one that was put into the back of a police car in handcuffs. 
which started the positive steps to get her out of my life. However, if I was worried about exposing her, or doing this or that, and letting my emotions get the best of me at that time, it's very likely I would have found myself in a bad situation, where I might still be paying for those choices to this day. And these same principles can be applied to life and when it throws you a curveball. Many of you may know. I've had problems with my YouTube channel. It's been a super stressful experience. However, there came a point where I said, though I'm going to work on this, but I'm going to leave what happens in God's hands as I'm a believer. So I must remain calm. With that said, every time, I spoke to YouTube regarding my problems. And trust me it was frustrating beyond belief. I didn't curse at them. I was polite. Kind. And not letting my emotions getting the best of me. Yet. Maintaining the truth of who I am as a human being. You see. When you let your emotions run wild. Usually your first thought in such situations. Though valid to feel such a way might not be the best choice to act upon. Like yelling, cursing, and the like. Because the minute you do that, you automatically shut the door for any good results to happen in the future. Now this by no means is to say, to just let bad things happen to you without sticking up for yourself. But what it really means is to think about how you are going to go about what you need to do in that given life situation and have or develop a rational plan if a plan is needed in such a situation. Because some situations may require no action at all. Some situations may require thought and a plan like a game of chess. And some situations will require for you to indeed to stand up for yourself. But in a way that shows you to be a decent human being. The thing is. We live in a weird and at times a toxic world. And there are many people that love to get someone to act up and act a fool. Simply so they can point the finger at them. And kick them out of the game so to speak. So what you may want to think about when you are going over your healing from narcissistic abuse. Is how is this healing not only allowing you to deal with what happened to you. But how is this healing turning you into a better person in all areas of your life. Because if you were raised by a narcissist especially. They groomed you to be reactionary. And you more than likely have been behaving in this way your entire life. Feeding the narcissist narcissistic supply with your reactions. But also without knowing it. Messing up a whole bunch of life chances and opportunities. So take a deep breath. Think about things. Slow things down. That's the theme. Slow things down. Like in the Matrix where they see everything come at them in slow motion. I think that is an example of what happens when you truly become awake. You start to see and hear everything around you in slow motion. And your reactions get better and better. At getting you away from harm. So don't let your emotions control you and put you in a bad situation. You control your emotions and put together a plan so you will end up with a good outcome to your situation and a good life as a result. Because that's the name of the game. A good life that produces good fruit. With that said, I would like to know what you think. Please share with me your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And share. So this channel will continue to grow. So those that need to find this information will have a chance to do so. And if you would like to support further by the way of Patreon. There will be a link in the box below as well. And for those that are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I want to humbly say thank you from the bottom of my cartoon heart. As every little bit helps. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.